Hey guys, it's the Squishy Monster, and today we're going to do something very special for St. Patrick's Day. We're going to do an Irish cream kissed crepe, which is going to really elevate the whole crepe thing. We're going to stuff it with a really nice, silky, and luxurious filling. To begin, I'm going to make this really simple and use my food processor. You can also put this in a blender just to whirl everything together so it'll just be tip everything in and let it go. So to that, I'm going to add in a combination of water and whole milk. I really like whole milk when you're using it for recipes. And then to that, I'm going to add in some melted butter. And don't worry, all the measurements and recipe will be found on the squishymonster.com, so slip that in there. And then I'm going to add in some salt, just sprinkle that in there, just a little pinch. And then I'm going to have some eggs that I've pre-beaten together. And tip in some vanilla, some pure vanilla extract. Use some quality stuff there. And then I'm going to let that whirl together and then I'm going to add in the rest of my ingredients. This next step is completely optional so you can omit it if you would like, but I'm going to tip in just a little bit of Irish cream. It'll spike that and give a nice backdrop a bit. And then I'm also going to tip in a little bit of food coloring, some green food coloring just to be festive and just to give it that green hue. And then I'm going to blend this again together. And then I'm going to sprinkle in the last part, which is going to be my flour. So after all of your wet has been um, combined, you want to sprinkle in your sifted, all-purpose, unbleached flour. And let that go as well. And that will be it. And I'm just going to pop this into the refrigerator for about 35 to 45 minutes. And that will help with minimized tearing when you're flipping the crepes. While my batter is chilling, I'm going to work on my filling. <laughs> and I'm a poet and I didn't know it. I'm so lame, I know. So in here I have some softened room temperature cream cheese, a little pat of butter, and some powdered sugar that I sifted in there. And um, all the measurements, like I said, will be on my blog, thesquishymonster.com. And I'm going to blend it together with just a little dribble of that Irish cream, just to echo in the filling and in the batter. And I'm going to blend it all together until it's smooth and creamy. And you can also use mascarpone cheese if you'd like. On a pan slicked over with some butter, I'm going to ladle in my chilled batter. And I'm going to use a little baby ladle and use about two ladles like that. And I'm going to swirl, use a swirling motion to spread out the batter into a paper thin sheet. You want it to be pretty close to paper thin and just like that, you want to let it set. And the top will kind of bubble over slightly and it'll be dry. That's when you want to flip it and it'll be perfectly golden brown on the other side with just little bits of bubbles. So the surface is completely dry and there are little bubbles that appear. And a normal person would use a spatula, but I fancy myself an atypical, not normal person, so I'm gonna go in there with my fingers and I'm just gonna flip it just like this. And look at all those little brown bits, the golden brown bits, it's gonna be perfect. So you're gonna let them completely cool and then we're gonna stuff them with that delicious filling. There are a variety of ways of plating and presenting these, but this is just one of them. I'm going to take my filling and take my cool sheet of crepe and kind of smooth this over with about an inch of a border all across around, just like that. And then I'm going to fold it over. You can also do jelly roll style or just do like an omelet style and just fold it over just once, but I'm going to take this end and then kind of fold it over like that. And then take this end and fold it over again in half. I'm gonna snack on this little bit. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. So then it looks like that. And then I wanna take my melted chocolate that I just put into a plastic bag and I snipped off the edge. And I'm going to just kind of drape it with chocolate, just like that. Just for color contrast, and you know, chocolate never hurts anything, it makes everything better, right? <laughs> And then I'm gonna take some powdered sugar and just finish it off with just a fine dusting of that, and you're ready to eat. So here's my finished crepe, and like I said, you can plate and present in a variety of different ways. This was just the easiest for me. I'm gonna dig in to see what it tastes like. That stuffing is just oozing out. Mm. So you get that nicely scented Irish cream batter, the crepe itself and it's echoed in that soft filling. It's a really nice contrast between the crisp edges of that grape and then that, like I said, soft, luxurious filling. I so hope you guys get this try. I wanna wish y'all a very happy and safe St. Patty's Day. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is the Squishy Monster, and I'll see you guys very soon.